Hey there, Nikki Tricos of Life by Design. I thought I would do something different for this tutorial. I posted um, some book pages that I folded using vintage books. I found the tutorial on TikTok, so TikTok made me do it. I'm going to link to um, the person whose account I found this tutorial on, but I love it. I'm a hoarder of vintage books. I like to go to antique shops when I'm shopping around and visiting small towns to find books that I just love to have around me. And I also use the book pages sometimes for art. So if you have a stack of old books, they don't have to be vintage. Um, they can just be books that maybe you haven't read in many years. Maybe you have a bunch of old books just sitting on a bookshelf and want to turn them into art. So this is just another way to be able to have them sitting whether it's on your coffee table, I'm in my living room today filming. Um, you can put them on your coffee table and it'd make a really great, almost sculptural piece that could even become a bit of a conversation topic when you have a family over or friends over. Or you can actually hang them on the wall. So I'll show you um, how I hang them in my studio wall. But again, they're just really easy to do. So I kind of have them sitting around my living room so that maybe when I'm hanging out watching Netflix and relaxing, I can fold and make a bunch of these beautiful folded pages um, and reuse and recycle some old books. And I'm gonna show you just a few of the simple ones that I did and show you my method, which may be a little bit different, okay? Okay, so here is the start of our tutorial again. Working at my coffee table today, I thought it'd be a little bit fun to get out of the studio and away from my normal um, routine of tutorials that I like to create for you. So I'm going to show you this book first. So again, of course I went to TikTok and I couldn't find the account, but I will tag it in the description below. That's my doggy's little nails that you can hear in the background. Um, so what she does, is she starts from the beginning of the book. So I'll show you from this book as an example. So you start from the beginning of the book and you do your page folds. So that's one way that I'll show you how to create um, the book pages. And I like these two folds. So I think what I'll do is a variation of this one where we're just doing a single fold. But for this book, because after I finished this one, I realized how much time it actually takes and it takes a while. So again, make yourself a hot cuppa, pour yourself a cold cocktail, watch Netflix show as you do this because it does take time. So in order to save time, because I'm an impatient person, yes, admittedly so, I decided to work from the center of this one. So what I did was I looked at the number of pages in the book. So this one was a little bit shorter. So this book has, say, 242 pages. So I divided that by two, went to the center of the book, and I started folding from the center outward. So that way I would actually be able to see the book pages because as nice as this, the um, inside cover is, I actually really like the book pages. So I thought I'm going to save time and I'll just fold the center. I think I did about 40 pages on either side until I was happy with the fullness. So I'm going to show you, I'll fold a couple of pages in this book so you can see. So this fold is really e easy. So I'm gonna look at what, which way I started. So all you do is you start from the bottom and you fold upwards once. Now I did rip out some pages, which is another trick. Fold it upwards once into the center of the book. And then I just repeat that on the top. So always folding the top of the page right to the center. And then I like to push them out. Really nice to get a crisp, fold. And there you go. Super easy, right? So let's go to the other side. So I started from the bottom. So right to the center of the book. Nice fold. And then you can go quicker once you get the hang of it. But then from the top down to the center of the book, nice, clean, triangular fold. And there you have it. Now, if you want, if you want it to be less full, and maybe um, less pages that are just sitting, hanging out, you can actually rip out a few of these pages. So save your pages for artwork. I paint on these, I use them for collage work, I color swatch on them, and whatever you do to one side, make sure you do the same to the other side. 
And again, keep your book pages because you'll be able to, and I can even show you a tutorial if you like, comment actually, and let me know if you wanna see a tutorial about how I use my book pages and recycle those. So then, again, you can determine what the fullness, um, what you want the fullness to be. But I think I went about 40 pages on either side of the center. And then you can rip out as many pages again of the book that you like to create this really nice sort of diamond shape, which is kind of cool. I really like this one actually. So that is book style number one that I followed and did. This second one is that exact same triangle. So you can see the triangle is the same, but these pages, we just folded in once from the center, but it's just um, one simple fold with the triangle fold. So what you do is you start from the first page and you fold in five pages. So again, let's say this is our first page. You fold it in and you do the same five times and then you actually remove five pages and then do your triangle fold five times, okay? So again, very similar to that first one. And if you have to rewind and play the first part of the tutorial, but what I'm going to do, and I did that through the whole entire book. So this took me a while. I think it took me three sittings to complete. Um, so it takes a while, especially if your book is really thick. So what I'm going to do is grab this old book and this one, I'm not sure where I got it from. Again, look, it's nice and ripped and um, really aged looking, which I think is cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, maybe we'll do this fold, we'll do both. So I'm going to fold five pages and you can do 10 pages if you want. You can do whatever you want, but I like five because it's easy to keep track. Oh, I even like this page. I think what I'm going to do because I like this page and I want to use it for my art, I'm gonna rip it out. So remember, it's no stress. Do five, so that's three. Four. Five. So there's five of my straight fold to get me that really nice cylindrical look. And then I would do five, we'll do top down this time. So one page comes in, sorry, one side comes in, bottom comes into the center, that's one. So you're gonna do that five times. Again, top comes in first. And you can see like once you get the hang of it, it goes a lot quicker. I just want you to be able to see. So I'm folding in that top corner. Again, folding in this top corner. And again, I like this page, so I'm going to save that for my art. So how many did I do? Just gonna clean up my fold. So that's three, so I need two more. So that's four. And you can even gift these. Like what a great fun gift would it be for a friend, that way you're recycling, using up what you already have. There we go, so it's five center folds, five little sailboats, and then we're going to rip out five. Two, three, four. You can use an X-Acto knife if you want, because you'll get these little bits, but I'm not fussy. I'm never precious with my art. If you've taken classes with me, you know that. So now I'm going back to these folds. So again, one, just in half, super, super easy. Two, three, four, and five. So you can start to see that shape coming to life. Let's do one more of the sailboat, just so you get that fold. And there's so many. Um, she, I think she has about maybe five or six different types of folds you can do. I've tried a couple of them. I love these two the most, and I'm actually going to create a cylinder pattern for my next book. I have a ton of these books. Again, I feel like I buy a bunch anytime I'm out. You can check out Salvation Army, Secondhand Shops, Value Village and they're super, super cheap. I do have more expensive vintage books that I will not touch. I just, 
I love how they look and feel, but again, an expensive books is no problem. So you can start to see that shape coming together, which I think is really cool. And again, it takes a little bit of time, but with the right entertainment handy, let me fold a couple more. Um, it can be relaxing and then what a beautiful thing to be able to put on a wall somewhere, resting on your coffee table. So let's do five more pages of this guy. So again, if you wanted to start from the center of the book and work your way out, you totally can. That's three. Four. Make sure I'm five. There we go. Okay, so you can see that. And then sometimes I'll even close it and put a bit of pressure so that way I can get them really nice and folded. And then you can start to see that shape coming to life, which is cool. Now, I also thought it would be neat to do just the half fold. So she showed us that in her tutorial. And I'm gonna do a bunch because I can rip out those little triangles that I folded. But I thought it'd be neat to do just a half fold and that would really go with the other book that I have already folded. So again, you can see it's a process and I'm not gonna bore you too much with me just folding this book in half, but you can see that even just that simple fold could look really cool. Let me rip out these and see if I can show you. And the one great thing about the vintage books is the paper um, is just so worn and old that it rips out no problem. I'm sure that if you did this with a more modern day book, it'd be harder to rip out the pages. So for this book, I know I just ripped out all those triangles. I actually just want to create a book that has just a single fold because I think it'll look really cool with the other two that I made. So it's just, again, continuing on with just some center folds. Super, super easy. So you can do all of the same fold, like that first book I showed you. And if you feel like the book is getting too thick, because remember, when you fold the pages, it'll double the um, volume of the book, then just tear out a few pages. So let's tear out I'm not getting close enough to the edge. See, I'm trying to rush because I don't want to bore you, but I want you to get the full effect. And maybe what I'll do is I'll work on this and I'll show you what they look like all done. So you can just rip out a few pages at a time and don't worry about those center bits because your folds will cover them. So if the rip isn't a clean rip, you got it. So it's just another great way to really enjoy. I like that page and I like that page. It's just another great way to enjoy some creative time if you don't feel like picking up a paintbrush today, but want to do something with your hands because it is really neat to be able to make things and even to see the end result of your project come to life. Okay, so I think that's good. That gives you a really nice indication. So look at how cool that will look once it's done, and I'll show you what that looks like finished. But for now, we'll make sure he's nice and squished, and I'm gonna take you into my studio. Okay, so I'm here in my studio, and this is where I like to hang them. So I just use the top of the spine. This is just a pegboard from Ikea with little um, clips. So I like to just clip them into the top of the spine here. Let me show you that. So just in there, and then I hang them on my wall here. So how awesome is that? So whether they're sitting on the coffee table, again, just at the top of the spine, um, or if they're hanging in the studio, it just adds yet another piece of interest and fun for a project that is, I feel like, really inexpensive and um, will give you a break from working on some painting pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that. I really had fun making these books. And when I shared on Instagram, there was so much interest that I thought it'd be really great to share a tutorial with you. I am in the process of creating some more tutorials here for YouTube, so go ahead, hit subscribe, 
comment below and let me know what you'd like to see more of. I can do more painting videos, I can talk about art, and maybe even my art business, give you a sneak peek of my studio tour. I am open. So go ahead and give me the thumbs up, comment below, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.